Hey girl, hey. This story time will be done with breakfast. <laughs> Let me tell y'all about the time Tank tried me, okay? As I pour this glass of wine, I don't think I ever, ever really told you how much I need you. It ain't worth telling a lie. It ain't worth seeing you cry. It ain't worth being alone. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Oh, she found the numbers I had in my car. Oh. I had a job being a promotions coordinator assistant for Radio 1, which is basically a huge radio station in Indianapolis for like all the hip hop and R&B stations and other stations as well. It's like six different stations inside one big building. The building was called Radio 1. My job was to go out and promote stuff through different events. Like they have an event and or like we'll be at a bar late night or something like that and promoting like the new movies that come out different artists um giving away concert tickets like any artist that will come in town tank chris brown everybody like we'd be promoting them Kurt, that was back when kirko bangs you remember kirko bang kirko bang drinking my cup that kirko yeah oh tank was coming and at this point i was up freaking obsessed i was like tank coming are you so are you serious right now that's my husband. Like, do you not know? All the stuff that he talks about, like, I bet you he treats his woman so bomb. I bet you he has, like, the utmost respect for women. Oh, my God. Tank is my man, okay? Like, don't play with it. So, they like, oh, my God. Do we need to put somebody else on a promo team? Because, I mean, are you going to be starstruck? Like, how you going to act? And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to act. I've never... Like, been around a celebrity that I was just, like, crushing over or anything like that. So, I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to act. I know I'm not going to act a fool, but I don't know what my reaction is going to be. And I was like, but don't take that away from me. So, I was like, okay, whatever. You'll be fine. So, girl, I get there. First of all, I was running, like, every promo possible, even giving tickets away all on Twitter. Like, you need to DM me right now. I'll be at this place. I'll be at that place with Taco Bell. Got a bunch of free tacos and gave away tank passes. Everything was tight. Driving around up in a 96.3 car. Beep, beep, Nick. Okay, so anyways, I was like, oh, I can't wait. So I get there and they're like, okay, Brittany, I need you to take loads of pictures because you're going to need to upload them to Facebook. They like, uh, you look cute and everything. Cause I had on these like real, real tight leggings. I mean, it was leggings. So of course they was tight, but they was like faux leather and lace. <laughs> it was like some bodycon type of leggings. And I had on like this little tank top and a uh, leather jacket with the uh, see-through sleeves on it. So I was looking good and I had on heels, which all came off. Cause I ended up putting on my gym shoes. Well, no, I put on flip flops. And I had to put on the freaking radio t-shirt, which sucked. Because I was trying to look good and it wasn't going to happen. Because we had to wear a station stuff. So they were like, you look cute and all, but I'm sorry. I know it's Tank. I know it's your husband, but you got to dress how we tell you. So anyways, I'm on stage. I'm taking pictures of everybody. And they're like, uh, yeah, okay, Tank's getting ready to come out, blah, blah, blah. So I'm looking. I'm like, okay. He's coming out. He's coming out. I'm mingling, talking to everybody. He come out. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this nigga look like he do on TV. <laughs> so he come out. He on the stage. He starts to singing. I'm like, Tank, sing. Ooh, I don't even remember. Sing, blah, blah, blah song. He look at me. He's like, I'm going to get to it. It's the method to my madness I got to order. I'm like, okay, okay, baby. No, no pressure. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I got to introduce him. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, 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 cool. I amped up the crowd for him and everything. It was tight. I was the hype man. So anyways, he's like, he started singing my song. I was like, ooh. Ooh, he was like, he stopped on stage in the middle of everything he was on and said, 
I'm making you high, baby. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, I am. I was like, yeah. So I was just too geeked. He was licking his lips and looking at me and stuff. Ooh. So then I ended up, um, after the whole thing, I took him his drink backstage. I went and grabbed him a drink. I was like, you want a drink? And I brought it to him. He was like, thank you. And I was like, you're welcome. And I was like, so Tank, where's the after party at? He was like, the after party? I was like, yeah, because I'm thinking you're going to have an after party, nigga. And this is going to be the first time I get to be at a celebrity after party. This nigga said, these nuts. I said, you tried it. You had too much to drink. And I laughed and walked away. That was so classy of me. But this nigga just invited me to his hotel room. He was so serious. And I said no. So freaking classy. <laughs> but, so anyways, that was what happened. And then we was taking pictures and everything. And I was taking pictures of him and all the people. And then it was time for me to take my little picture with him. It was cute or whatever. He's so short. But um, after that, that kind of changed my opinion of him because I wanted him to be my husband. But he had other plans. So I was like, uh, he's not who I thought he was. And now I'm back on this nuts. Like, ooh, 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 his, his music is like sex. I could just lay here, spread eagle, and let him sing. And I'd be good. So anyways, Tank tried me. Thanks for watching my story time, guys.